Welcome to White Shoulders Boar Goats and Farmstead. All right. I'm going to try to put collars on these young boys. We'll see how this goes. It should be interesting. If he puts his head through. I can catch him. Without freaking him out. Pretty good stuff, huh? Uh, I think this collar needs another hole in it. I don't have a hole punch, so. Here, fella. We'll just twist it up and make it work. Because he can't get it over his head because of his horns. All right. That was easy. Have another collar here. Probably should put this one on him. I think it's smaller. That's okay, buddy. I ain't gonna hurt you. Just don't get my fingers with the horns. Yeah, the one's just a little bit shorter than the other one. Piglet here. He he really wants that alfalfa pellet, so he'll probably stick his head in there. And this one's figured out I'm not gonna hurt him. I can feel where I gave him one of his uh, vaccines. His mother and his grandmother do that as well. You'll notice some of these guys will get a, a knot where you give their um, pneumonia vaccine. That is uh, completely normal. And they will pop every now and then, so it looks like they got CL, but they don't. They just, it's just a reaction. And it can be a reaction, or it can be where you gave the shot and it uh, scratched the muscle and it'll cause a little abscess. It's not a real big deal. Nothing to freak out over. He's never let me pet him, so this is a good thing right here. He's letting me pet him. He won't get his big head out of the food here so I can catch his buddy. Because he's not scared. <laughs> well, there, fella, you could have had some of that. Your feet need to, oh yeah, your feet need to be trimmed. I don't know if he'll let me, but I'll try to trim them. Might let me trim the front ones, but most of the time, I won't let you get the back ones very easy. If you're going to grab their feet, block their head in. Because if you don't, they might fall back on you and it might hurt. So, uh, I just trim what's laying over. Uh, he probably isn't going to care too much because he wants those alfalfa pellets. So you just trim what's fell over. He just 
wants the alfalfa pellets. Let's see if he lets me do the back. Yeah, most of the time they freak out on the back one. So you just do it fast and uh, hope that the goat behind you is not biting you like the one behind me right now is. So I just trim, just trim what's sitting there. Whatever's laid over is usually what I take off. You don't want to get too, you want to be careful with your baby goat's feet because you don't want to cut them too short. are the ones that usually got all tore up because they're on the standing on the fences all right buddy all right I got that one I got a goat back here biting me teeth are sharp. Hey fella, you gonna jump up there? Yeah, let me get my, get my friend down. Yeah, he's like, hey, maybe he'll get up there now. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna let him have it. Gonna be really nice someday. If you teach your kids how to get up on a stand, you'll never have to bend over to trim their feet or do anything else to them. I move, he's gonna All the coaxing in the world and I still had to rope this one to put a collar on him because he didn't want to get on the stand. But that's okay. I know he knows how to get up here. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.